This lecture is going to be about the impact of westward movement on Native Americans and the settlers themselves, plus the uh, a new political party that came up during this time period. It was known as the Indian problem, the problem being that we had great land that we wanted to use to farm and, and ranch on, but Indians lived on it. So the solution to that problem was to take the Indians and move them onto reservations, make them all farmers, no matter what they had done before, whether they were hunter-gatherers. Um, a lot of Indians had experience in farming, but the majority of Indians on the plains were hunting for buffalo, and so they migrated around the year following the buffalo wherever it went. And the reservations were usually not great land. The good land was used by the settlers, and their movement was restricted, so they could no longer go where they used to go, migrate to warmer weather in the summer or in the winter, and in the summer follow the buffalo. Um, and so because this was all new to them and strange, and they felt it was unfair, they were forced to do it at the point of a gun, a lot of natives fought back, and some of those natives, like Chief Joseph here, or a Sitting Bull, or uh, Geronimo, were three of the big leaders of this time. They all surrendered. These are all pictures taken of them after they surrendered, um, but they were all insurgents who led wars against the United States during this time and lost. One of the most infamous of these skirmishes with American troops and Indians is the Sand Creek Massacre. And at this event, um, the Cheyenne, who were pretty peaceful, were camping at some place called Sand Creek. Um, they were promised that the United States government would leave them alone if they stayed within a certain area, and they were doing that. One morning, about 700 American soldiers rolled into the camp and attacked and killed about 150 to 500 natives. Most of the men were out hunting, so these were mostly women and children. Here you can see a picture of what the, uh, the, the Cheyenne looked, at this, looked like at, during this period. And here is, there are no pictures of it, but this is an artist's depiction of what it looked like when the, when the American army rolled into their camp. The next event I want to talk about is the Battle of Little Bighorn. Now this event happened when the Sioux were promised a hunting ground that no one would ever take away from them if they would be peaceful because they were a warrior tribe. The government decided they were going to put a road th straight through the Sioux hunting ground to Silver Country where there was mining for silver. The Sioux fought back. And gold, not just silver, but there was gold too. In fact, I think it was mostly gold. Um, they sent out a lieutenant, a, a veteran of the Civil War named Lieutenant George Armstrong Custer. He went in to round up the Indians and move them, and he came into this area. And if you look at this picture, if you can imagine, uh, we are looking at it the way Custer looked at it. We went into this plain following a small Indian uh, party, and when we got about halfway through this area, from behind the hill on the right, about a thousand Indians came up over that hill. You can't see the hill on the left. Indians came over that hill, and we were trapped. Um, the Sioux were wiped. At, the Sioux wiped out the soldiers, and Custer died there. And it was a great victory uh, for the Sioux. This is sort of what the uh, a battle, a uh, a battle uh, or a warrior, a warrior party from the Sioux looked like. And this is sort of an artist rendition of what the Custer's last stand was. The Battle of the Knee was the same tribe, the Sioux. They were rounded up eventually after the Battle of Little Bighorn. Um, they were moved to South Dakota. Some of them fled to Canada, but they were homesick for their regular lands. They were homesick for their families, so they came in to the reservation in South Dakota. Um, Sitting Bull, who had fought at Little Bighorn, was leading. Well, he wasn't cooperating, and he wasn't farming. He was a bad example. So they came to arrest him, and they accidentally shot him um, and killed Sitting Bull. This led to an uprising um, this, that never happened because before anything could happen, the Army rounded up all the natives, and they opened fire on them. 120 men, 230 men, and children were killed. And the picture you see here is of, if you look at the bottom, it says, Bird's Eye View of the Battlefield of Wounded Knee, South Dakota. It wasn't a battlefield. It was a massacre. Um, and here you can see another picture of the battlefield. And here they are throwing the Native Americans into a mass grave. All right, that's enough for this, and we'll move on to the next lecture.